Hello Virgo and welcome to your reading of the Rose Staricles. My name is Rose and today we'll be doing a reading for your mid-month February 2022. During this reading, please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Since this is a general reading, it may not resonate with you 100%, okay? Now if this is the case, please take a look at your moon, rising and Venus signs to get a better picture of the message Spirit is guiding you towards. If you wish to contact me, all my details are in the description box below. Now before we start, I would like to thank God, Source, the Universe, all the Archangels and Angels of Love and Light, all the Spirits and Spirit Guides of Love and Light for guiding me to share my gifts with you all. If you like your readings, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. So Virgos, let's get started. Let's see what's in store for you for February, mid-month 2022. Hmm. Okay, so coming to the reading, we can see clearly that there is somebody who wants to come towards you to offer you some love. This person is in a hurry because they can see that you are independent, you are looking good and you are thriving in your energy. Okay, so they want to come towards you to offer you this uh, love of theirs. Yes. But I feel as though you are happy in this energy of your own, yes? This relationship could be that of long distance, yes? It could, uh, it could be a long distance relationship or it requires a bit of journey over water. Not only that, I think, you, uh, journey over water means, you know what I mean, that you take a boat and you go on to the other side of the lake and there's another town. <laughs> But uh, I can see also some of you could be at a long distance, yes, wherever in the world you are. Uh, you could be dealing with a person who is very emotional about you, but sometimes they can be emotionally unstable. But whatever decisions they make, they make to based on emotion. They wish to have a reconciliation with you. Yes, this might come as a shock to you because you feel as though there's no love remaining in this relationship there is no passion in this relationship yes this person may have not shown you the kind of passion that you wish to have had in the past and this person perhaps is coming back towards you uh, for reconciliation but uh, from what we can see here you have clearly moved on yes uh, you were very sad in the past you know you could, you could have had a lot of regrets to do with this person but nevertheless, nevertheless you pulled i'm joining so many words together hold on guys Mm. yes so you pulled yourself together and you moved on so perhaps some of you are in another relationship as well but uh, nonetheless I can see over here there is a bit of stuck energy it's, it feels as though this was not meant to be but there is some kind of unfinished business between you and this person yes and um, from what I can see at the moment, this person is not your wish fulfillment. Yes, you do not receive the kind of love that you wish for from this person. And instead of them wanting a reconciliation with you, I think you're going to decline the offer. Too many cards. Okay, I'll take those two. Let's see what's on your person's side. Right. So, from what we can see, your person wishes to come in towards you. They wishes uh, they wish to start brand new with you 
or they wish to make a passionate but this person is very in and out of your life okay this person is not stable this person is a bit in and out of your life they are um it's more of passion based it's not it's more lust based than it's uh, love based yes this the love is very minimal here it is it seems as though this person will go uh it seems like convenience it's a relationship of convenience you want to go to, uh, sorry this person sees in the past that there was a lot of conflicts yes they can see you walking moving forward yes and uh going towards new things yes you, they can see you moving forward and that is the reason they are coming rushing in towards you with passion yes um they do have a small cup of love for you but it's only small because they want to see where it goes from there perhaps yes there could have been financial issues in the past okay but nevertheless i can see they feel that you're coming out of heartbreak yes they do have a lot of regrets yes when it comes to uh this relationship and how it was handled yes they wish to build on it yes but they are also in two minds they could have a decision to make on which direction they need to take yes now this was a third party situation thing so there could have been a third person involved in this relationship dynamic okay so they are perhaps deciding uh to drop the third party okay and to come towards you for some of you yes the movement is so slow yes that by the time they let you know about their thoughts of reconciliate reconciliation and reconciling with you yes it will be a bit too late because they're moving a bit too slow they're not able to make a timely decision let's put it that way they are not able to make a timely decision so they are going to lose out on an opportunity with you no this <laughs> so this person could be somebody from your past okay some of you could have been married to this person in your past okay some of you could have had a long term committed relationship with this person in the past yes definitely marriage yes and i think right now you could be going through the justice system meaning to say some of you go could be in the process of divorce so this person perhaps wants to come back and change your mind because they could be losing out uh on money yes so if they they feel as though it's better to stay toxic and together then to be separated and give out money so that is what i was thinking relationship of convenience where they are thinking more about money than your well-being you know what i mean what's going on with the light darling there's so many candles but you're deciding not to put any uh work into this relationship anymore you're not working on it you're just letting it go you're letting it slide you're letting it you know leave your life it's it, you feel as though it's dying a natural death so you're not putting any effort into it because you think what's the point really you want to go you do think about them sometimes yeah you you sometimes it's a back and forth energy with you yeah sometimes you want to give them sometimes you want to accept the apology and sometimes you just upset so every time you uh not talking to them you feel as a uh, okay you know distance make the heart grow fonder case you know what i mean where you think okay maybe you know maybe they need a chance but every time they open their mouth and something is spewed out from their mouth yes and you're like piss off <laughs> 
you know, no forgiveness at all. You're just selling them to piss off. So it's like, um, you rather love them from afar than have them anywhere near you because all they brought to you was drama and chaos and you have been enlightened to the fact that your life is better off without this person around you, okay? You have made a decision and you're going to be holding back from this person. You're not going to be investing in that relationship anymore. You're going to be investing in yourself, okay? It is their bad luck. They have decided to make a decision, a move slow and the decision was made for them by the universe. Sounding very similar. I don't know which sign got where similar similar grounds. Yeah, reading. Now let's see. Mm. Moving forward, what all is going on in your energy? So, Virgo. You're being urged over here to stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So think positively. So don't, um, perhaps you're going to a period of transition, right? Coming out on the other side of this, you're healing, you're going through the healing process, right? So don't think that, oh God, you know, you, lo you lose all faith and hope in love at all, completely. You do not want to love at all again. You know, you think that, Love is a losing game or something of the sort, yes? Do not lose hope in love. Love is the highest vibrating energy of all, darling. You will heal one day and you will love again, okay? You're thinking more on the grounds of money, finance, career, abundance. That is your focus at the moment, yes? You feel also that you have the money, uh, but you do, not, you do not have the love of your life to share it with, yes? So you want somebody compatible with on your level with you yeah that you can openly share your abundance with okay you're thinking from a point of um, um, a balance within you so you're coming into some kind of harmony within yourself yes and you're thinking from very from very good space really so your heart is very pure at the moment when you have these thoughts so there could be somebody over here around you that 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 has kind of like taken up your interest at the moment and you want to express your love to this person and I feel it is time for you to go ahead and make the romantic gesture. But you're faced with some kind of indecision. Yes, but you're being urged to make the decision because whatever decision you make is going to be supported by your ancestors. They have appeared in your reading. Okay, it's going to be supported by your ancestors, by your spirit guides, and by the spirit world. Okay, so go ahead and make the decision. Whatever decision you make will be the right decision for you. It is time for you to forgive and learn. Okay, as you release and heal the past, you experience, um, you experience more love in your present moment. So perhaps it's time to make peace with your past. Perhaps. If you do not want to tell the person that I'm forgiving you and so and so, you just, you know, within yourself, in your mind, in your heart, in your soul, just let it go, okay? And then you can feel the healing energy go through you and you will see how the blockages will be removed from your life. Yes, you asked over here to take some time out. If you're working too hard, take some time out for yourself and relax, rejuvenate your energy, okay? Your mind is right now brimming with a lot of ideas, with a lot of uh, creativity. So pay attention to it and also work on it. All right, darlings. So now let's see what the soul journey cards have to say for you. It says fear. As you can see here, it says fear. It says, I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love, okay? So you have kind of um, become fearful of love after this last experience in your life and you've kind of given up on love as we've seen here, right? You, you need to stay optimistic about your love life, darling. So, Archangel Michael says, whatever it is you have in mind, go ahead fearlessly, darling. So please uh, say this prayer with me to Archangel Michael. Thank you for walking with me every step of the way, for holding my hand, giving me confidence and courage, and guiding my thoughts and action 
in the in the direction of love and my true life's purpose so you're being directed towards your true life's purpose okay so go for it now let's see what initials make sense to you Virgo receive T J W O Y Toy Joy <laughs> Boy Are you dealing with a toy boy? <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yes, toy boys Now we have the zodiac signs Cancer Aquarius Capricorn, Gemini, another Virgo, and Scorpio. You could be dealing with any of these signs, or any of these signs could be prominent in your person's chart. All right? So, Virgo, that was your reading for mid month February 2022. Until we meet again the next time, darlings. If you like your reading, it resonated with you, please. Hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed already. And for my returning viewers and subscribers, I thank you so much for being on this journey with me at the Rose Tarricles. And thank you so much for, your, for those of you who have donated. Until we meet again, darlings, I love you. Take care and God bless.